Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Advita Nikam and today we are going to learn about towards freedom. So how are India struggled for our freedom? I'm going to tell you more about those things and uh, as we celebrated 75th Independence Day on this 15th of August or Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav, I am just going to tell about how India struggled for our freedom and how India got freedom. But this is part one. So we are going to see how India struggled. And in next part, we are going to see how India got freedom slowly, slowly, steadily, steadily. So the first question is why did the British came to India? India is called Sone Ki Chidiya that is flourishing with health, wealth and nature. It, it has been always famous for spices, textile, jewelry and pearls. Uh, and nature is the best gift which India got. Invaluable gift which India cannot repay back. But this is where the other countries or the other people were jealous of. The Arabs were jealous, Portuguese, Dutch, French and British the East India Company or the Britishers which emerged as the most powerful of them they traded through English East India Company the company bought goods cheaply and sold them at very high rates abroad this resulted the huge properties for the company profits for the company little by little the English East India Company established their control over the whole of India. Taking the advantage of lack of unity among Indians. Discontent among Indians. The British, once the British were firmly established in India, they started to ex they exploited the farmers, traders, craftsmen and the rulers of local kingdoms. The farmers, I'll just give you some examples, that farmers had to pay high taxes even during flood and droughts and were forced to grow plants which the British bought at very low rates and sold in very high rates in other countries. Thus, farmers in India became poorer some of them died due to the starvation and the cheaper mill-made cloth was imported in India through England. As a result, handloom industry of India was suffered. Lacks of fevers were unemployed. They suffered the same fate as the farmers. Some of them died due to starvation. The Britishers also did not allow the Indians to open mills and factories. Indian traders were also not allowed to trade in the items of their choice. The Indian rulers and the princes were also unhappy with the British. But what could they do? The British used unfair and unjust means to expand their hold on India. So, after all this happened, the Indians were angry. So they start, started protesting against their unfair policies, which is the revolt against the British. The dissatisfaction and the anger of Indians read to, live, read to revolt. Ever since the coming of P, British people in India in different parts of India had been India had been protesting against their unfair policies. However, there was no unity in their, pol in their protests. It was only in 1857 a major revolt broke out, which was called the First War of Independence or the Great Wall of 1857. It was an important event in our struggle for freedom. The revolt was started by Indian soldiers who, was, who were serving in the British Army in India. Some of the leaders 
were Nana Sahib from Kanpur, Rani Lakshmi Bai from Jhansi, Begum, Hazrat Maharat Avad, and the soldiers declared the last Mughal emperor, Bahadur Shah Zafar, their re- leader. So these were some well-known leaders of the first war of independence. Uh, after the revolt the british suppressed the first war of independence many factors were responsible for the failure of the revolt the it did not spread to all parts of india indian soldiers did not have sufficient money and good weapons the revolt was not organized properly on the other hand the britishers uh, had well equipped weapons and uh, up and they it was well organized the rule of east india company ended in 1858 england then the england's administration took the administration of india by the government of india however the indian princes were able to rule over their territories or were allowed to rule over their territories social and religious reformers so the britishers introduced modern educa- education in india gradually educated indians introduced many social and religious reformers reformers such as raja ram mohan roy Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, Rabindranath Tagore, etc., were active during this period. They strongly protested against social practices such as killing female babies, child marriage, caste system, and sati. They also encouraged widow to remarriage and women's education. rays of nationalism educated indians realized that the british wanted to keep india poor and backward this realization united the indians slowly the feeling of unity and nationalism grew stronger the growing feeling of nationalism resulted in the formation of indian national congress in 1885 The Indian National Congress was formed by an Englishman. It was first in first in its first session was held at Bombay, now which is called as Mumbai. It was attended by 72 delegates from all over India. Thereafter, Congress met held or met a, a meeting in every year in different cities. it awakened the spirit of unity among indians at the same time it requested the government to introduce reforms to improve the living conditions of people the growing popularity of congress worried the british to suppress the rising spirit of nationalism the government passed many strict laws they also used the po- used the policy divide and rule to prevent hindus and muslims from uniting the national indian national congress achieved limited success during its early years now rest of the things like moderates radicals partition of bengal mahatma gandhi the peaceful satyagrahi swadeshi boycott and boycott the revolutionaries gandhi ji leads the nation jaliana wala bag massacre and simon commission civil disobedience movement quit india movement indian national army indian becomes free independent india we will learn more about this in the next part till then till then bye for now Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.